Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I received this wonderful message on my phone from my friend that lives in Arizona. And there was no source to it. So I'm just now getting around to sharing it with you because I wanted to know I had to have a link. <laughs> so you could go there and read it yourself. Um, so anyway, I had to text her back. I didn't know how to share it from a text anyway, but I mean, other than to read it from my phone, I could do that, but I wanted a source. Anyway, I texted her back and I said, um, where did you get this? Who sent it to you? So I, I said, I need a source of where it came from so I can share it. So anyway, I found out it was on a website called His Kingdom Prophecy. Now, it's like the channel Prophecy 444 in that when you go there, there are several different people's prophecies that they receive. Um, I guess their words, maybe visions and dreams, I'm not sure. But I had to scroll through many pages to get back to the 29th of July. And still, it popped me back to the first. So, <laughs> I said, oh, brother. So, I went back to my phone. And I, anyway, I found out who received it. I typed her name in and found it that way. So, I am going to share this with you because it goes along with what? Um, Kathy and Dan and Team Jesus that um, I'm joining every night. Uh, well, not every night, three or four nights a week, and learning uh, some new things, and this confirms what I've been learning, what they have been receiving, and other members on the team have been receiving, and I was going to share with you one of the videos um, yesterday morning, and I was told, wait, uh, another member on the team had a dream that gave us more of the picture. <laughs> so she took that video down and she made another one. Okay, anyway, let me get started with this. And um, I may stop it and throw in just a little bit. Let me pray first. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would let me stay on track. And let the Holy Spirit speak through me only, only, only what you would want me to clarify. I pray these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. And I plead the blood of Jesus over my computer that it won't blacken out again or do anything from the evil side. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Yeah, I've been having computer issues, strange computer issues lately, but hopefully that won't happen. All right, here we go. It's called, okay, the the, the website, if I didn't say it, His Kingdom Prophecy, and you can type that out, www. Spell that out, it's all one word, hiskingdomprophecy.com. All right. This is called It's Time dot 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 Destiny's Clock is Ticking by Veronica West. She received this or uploaded it July 29th, 2020. I hear the Spirit say, Beloved, why do you fear and fret about the future? Why is your heart so heavy? Why are you so troubled by the turmoil and despair that threatens to overtake the nations? Beloved, have I not said that darkness will increase in these days and that the hearts of many will wax cold? Yes, 
For surely these things must and will take place in order that my word be fulfilled. But listen, for I tell you the truth, that though the works of the wicked will certainly increase in the days ahead, know this, the light of my glory shall arise upon the nations and the darkness of the devourer will be distinguished. And I wonder if she meant extinguished. Well, it says distinguished. And the powers and principalities of the prince of the air will be pushed back. And like a mighty battering ram, the gavel of my righteousness and justice shall come down to smash to pieces the false idols and demonic strongholds of the enemy that have been established in the nations. Who can stop? what I have decreed and who can stand against what I predetermined and predestined before the foundations of the earth beloved do you hear it it is the sound of a t of the ticking of a clock tick tock tick tock Look, for the hordes of hell are tormented by the sound of destiny, for they know their end, and they know that their time is short. You know how the Bible says Satan, um, how is it worded? He, he knows his, he has but a short time. He does all that he can, while he can, because he knows his time is short. Okay, well, it's not just him. It's all his hordes of hell, those helping him. Beloved, come up higher. Open your eyes and see. For the demons of deception, perversion, infirmity, and death. Oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I feel like I have Jasper's hair on my nose and I can't get it off. That's what it feels like. I was holding him. Anyway, let's get back to this. For the demons of deception, perversion, and infirmity, and death have been unleashed upon the earth, and their eyes are firmly fixed upon the harvest fields. I'm going to be sharing what they shared last night about the harvest fields. And their assignment is to steal, kill, and destroy. But fear not, for a righteous and radiant remnant clothed in the light of my glory is now rising in the midst of the mayhem and satanic madness. Do you know who that is? That is the first fruits. I pray every one of you are part of it. It's the first raptured up people where we go outside of time, we get our glorified bodies, we get our assignments, we're with Jesus long enough to, we're going to sing praises and hymns, and uh, this is the part they got, one of them got uh, Juanita, I think. In a dream, we will spend time with Jesus. He will instruct us. Then we come back down into time. Because here we live in time. We go by clocks. You know, it's nine. It's 9.55 right now. So, we, see, we, go by, we have to keep a schedule and go by time. We will go outside of time where in eternity we won't live by a clock. It's daytime all the time and nobody gets tired apparently. <laughs> that I find so hard to believe and can't wait for. 
but anyway, not not just that, but it, it'll be nice. Um, let's see. The light of my glory is now rising in the midst of the mayhem and satanic madness. See, if you are part of the first departure, we'll put it that way, you are not worried about what's fixing to happen down the road. You are not worried with the messages that talk about destruction and fires and bombs and asteroids. It doesn't bother me a bit because I know I won't be here. You see, if you have that peace and you're rising above because you know you won't be here, that's what it's talking about. Because you understand it. We're rising above it. I mean, it's not going to be long, brothers and sisters. All right, I'll continue. Watch. For now, an army of radical reformers will arise. Radical reformers will arise and advance across the nations. See, for they have been made into threshing sledges, new and sharp, with many teeth, and they will thresh the mountains and crush them, and they will reduce the hills to chaff, and they will take my kingdom by force. Whew, I can't wait. So watch and pray in these days as the winnowing winds of my spirit now blows upon the threshing floor of the nations. Listen and pay attention. Tick tock, tick tock. The sound of destiny's clock can be heard in the realm of the spirit. Do you hear it? Are you ready? Are you aligned and rightly positioned? Are you walking in time with my spirit? My beloved, for this is a Kairos time, an appointed time in the earth, a time of divine shifting. Sifting, scattering, and separation has surely begun. The nations at a divine tipping point are now being sifted. The wheat and tares are now being sifted. Yes, and the demons of hell are now being scattered. And the goats and sheep nations are now being separated. Watch as the winnowing winds of my spirit now blow forth upon the harvest fields of the nations. Beloved, get ready, for it is a time of supernatural acceleration and kingdom advancement in the nations of the earth, says the Spirit of the Living God. It's signed, Blessings to You All by Veronica West. So, um, I will put the link to this whole site, and if you want to see, well, I, you know what? I could probably copy and paste this. I don't know if it'll fit in the description box, but some of you can't see it there anyway. I could put it in the comments. Why don't I do that? The first comment, I'll pin it to the top for anybody that wants to see it. And I'll include the link. So you can read some of these others and always, brothers and sisters, use discernment when reading others' prophecies. Kathy started to share one last night 
that she had been going over and decided, nope, nope, we're not sharing this one. And I don't remember what, what who it was or by or, or what, but uh, I agreed. Uh, whatever it was, um, no, she never did read it. But she said, I'm just, I'm not feeling, my spirit isn't feeling led to read this one. So they don't put up just, or to read this one. They don't just put up anything. They go over it and they discern what they should share. Okay, some do come from Prophecy 444. Some they find on Mike, you know, Mike 444 Prophecy. He shares lots of different peoples. They get some from his and other places when people share something. All right, I read her this and um, I told her I was going to make a video on it today. So I am going to plead the blood of Jesus over this beautiful message. So it will go up. And I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, and my internet connection. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you. And that you are not living in fear. I pray that you're all preparing yourself for the first departure. I pray that you will be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. Those that are left behind, it's because you need more refinement. Some people need a heart healing and deliverance of a demon that came in through some hurt you went through in the past. And it might not be that you haven't forgiven them, but that you're still... Uh, I don't know. There's lots of different reasons that people need healing. Okay, it's from something that happened to them in their form, you know, in their earlier life, and it might be causing a habitual sin, like losing your temper, or uh, maybe smoking, or maybe. Uh, why you don't want to speak in tongues. You see, that grieves the Holy Spirit. Or maybe why you're not filled with the Holy Spirit. Maybe you visited a Pentecostal church and people hurt your feelings. So you have an ought against that that you heard there. Thinking there... They think they're so holy because they pray in tongues. And they were all so mean to me. Well, that happens. Just because people get filled with the Holy Spirit and can speak in tongues is no guarantee they're going in the first rapture. No. You have to want it. But you don't have to. Kathy and Dan agreed. And, and I just said, I, I guess I've kind of liked joining with them because it's like they've become like mentors. They've answered some questions I had that make perfect sense. Now that they've explained why we're, the four seals have been opened. See, uh, someone had received a prophecy back in February and saying the four seals have been opened and I just said, nope, that person doesn't hear from the Lord because of that. Because I don't believe, I didn't believe any seals were open. They explained to me that just because the seal is opened doesn't mean the thing has happened, but, but it's being prepared for. Like number one in the Antichrist, he's already telling Trump what to do. That's why Trump is no longer president. Some of y'all don't want to hear that. But that's the truth. He's one of the prophecies they shared. Was your, your president is about. His time is about through. Okay. Well that was said in there. In that prophecy. Some of you may have seen that from prophecy 444. If Mike shared it. 
Okay, and then the second one is war. All right, maybe we're not in war, but they're planning on it. They're planning for it. The stages have, are being set. The plans are being set in stone. How it's going to play out. I know it's been, it's been planned for years and years. I know that already. Okay, the third is famine. Now, what did I teach yesterday? Or share? All those food recalls? Plus, before that, they've been turning under crops because the crop workers couldn't work it because of COVID. Oh, they'd have to work too close together because those people will line up and march down the field to pick the harvest. And they're not six feet apart. You, you, you mean to tell me you couldn't figure out that every six feet that team starts and let them get six feet ahead and then let the next team start. They're six feet apart and the other ones are six feet ahead. And you can't have a supervisor making sure the first bunch stays six feet apart and six feet ahead. It could have been done. And all the crops could have been plucked and gathered like they should have been. I, I actually thought they used machines for most of it anyway. And they're real wide. You can't run less than 12 feet apart. Anyway, I don't know that much about farming. So I'll move on. I already pleaded the blood of Jesus over everybody. Oh, and all your devices and all of your internet connections. I hope I said that. Okay, so I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you again soon.